Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I know it's been a while since I posted a video on YouTube. I have been posting on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, um, stuff like that, so check it out. Um, Facebook page is climbing through actually 132,000 followers, so thank you for the support on Facebook. Um, well, it's been a rough road the last six or seven months or so. Like I've told you in my last video, uh, I lost a good friend of mine suddenly, and then a few months later, I lost my mother suddenly. So it's been quite a few, all in the uh, mid-60s. So it's, it was definitely, unfortunately, a sudden, unexpected uh, two deaths of very important people in my life. So it's been a rough six, seven months for me. Uh, but on top of that, I had a great opportunity, as you guys know my last video, to um, buy Mooney Ovation. Had a great opportunity. Uh, any opportunity was there and unfortunately it's one of those things where you need to make a once-in-a-lifetime decision and or it won't come back around again and that's what it was so I sold uh, November 6887 November as you guys all know my green and white Mooney I uh, love that plane dearly uh, with the Dynon panel upgrade uh, through with with Dynon and Moyer Aviation in Mount Pocono uh, with the install so that was a hard pill to swallow but it had to get done and so between that and a couple of other issues with family, this is where I'm at. So, but things have gotten better, uh, not, not 100%. I don't think it ever will be 100%, but things are better and I'm moving forward uh, to getting back on YouTube and some other odds and ends um, as well. As you guys know, if you do follow me on Facebook, um, Instagram and TikTok, stuff like that, uh, you will know that the plane is at uh adventures aviation and that is in sky manor november 40 and that's in new jersey getting a garmin panel upgrade this time around and i know i've gotten a lot of emails slash messenger and some other comments on fa facebook about why garmin and not dynon um did i like dynon did i like do i like garmin better well, it's not about being better or who's better. I'm not going to know that until I fly with the Garmin system, uh, which is two G G3Xs. And I already had the 750. And I already had the uh, 345 transponder. Obviously getting a G5. And I'm getting the uh, new Garmin Autopilot 500 with the all dampener. So it should be a very interesting setup. I'm excited to get to the process of that and experiencing the Garmin side of things. Um, Dynon, unfortunately, is not going to at any time soon, I don't think probably ever, is going to have an autopilot certified for the long body, uh, for sure. Not gonna have an autopilot for the long body. They're just finishing up on the mid bodies. Uh, there's some you know, issues with that, as we all know. And so, and the short bodies will be coming. So it's been a rough decision. Um, Dynon's been great to me. Uh, it's a family great business. It's very customer service oriented. So uh, it was decision based on the autopilot, unfortunately, uh, because the Dynon system was great. I love the, uh, the system. It did very well by me. Uh, no complaints whatsoever for the Skyview HDXs. But here we are. We're going to try Garmin. And here I am again with a panel looking like spaghetti as you can see <laughs> so again if you follow me on on facebook you'll see some stuff on there as well so it's going to be interesting so the ovation is completely apart i'm going to check it out tomorrow and i'm going to do some video on that as well um, and move forward and hopefully within the next couple of weeks they'll be ready to be picked up and i'll let you guys do a full be a few a uh, few uh a full review of the Dynon slash Garmin, um, you know, and I'm, look, I'm very interested to see what the differences are. Um, what my, you know, some of my research, the differences are maybe a little bit of, a, bit of graphics, um, but other than that, I don't think it'll be that much different um, compared to the uh, Dynon setup. Um, Garmin's been around for a while. They get stuff um, certified quicker through the FAA and so on and so forth compared to um, Dynon, which is a smaller company. So that's kind of little issues there, but it is what it is. And, um, you know, I, I really didn't want to piecemeal this panel together. I mean, I could have gotten the dine on screen, then a different autopilot and a different this and a different that. So I was like, you know, uh, it was just not in the cards for me. Uh, people who know me that know that I like uniformity. Uh, I hate having all different kind of brands in the, in the cockpit. Um, but the IFD 540, 
uh, is from Avidyne. It was awesome package with the Dynon. And there's no complaints. It made, made the Dynon IFR capability with the IFD 540. Awesome. But I just didn't want to have all those different type of brands, whether it be the GPS, and then I'm going to have a different screen, whether it's Dynon, with whatever, different autopilot. It was just too much going on. Uh, with the research I've done for Garmin, everything's going to be Garmin. I already had, again, the 750 already in there and the transponder, so that saved me quite a few bucks having it already installed. So everything's going to work together. It'll be perfect, and I'm really excited to get it all taken care of. Um, but I do want to, I do want to say, I do appreciate a lot of folks out there reaching out to me, making sure everything is fine. If I needed anything, I really do appreciate that. You know, I, yeah, I do videos, we do all this stuff to inspire aviation. At least I, that's what I do and, uh, really work hard to get the younger guys involved in aviation and try to do stuff on YouTube and videos and stuff like that on Facebook and so on and so forth. Um, and I'm really happy that people reached out. It makes me happier, uh, to realize that you guys are thinking and and wondering what's going on and I do appreciate that uh, but again it's been a rough um, seven months or so uh, for me anyway so that's the update for the plane the ovation I'm really excited about the airplane I flew in it to Key West I flown it to Oshkosh you guys know Wisconsin um, and North Carolina I've gotten got really used to it it's the ovation I have to say the M20Rs what an amazing airplane. Like, I, I don't know, you know, I'm trying not to be biased because I have one now, but I never thought a plane can fly um, this great and efficient. Like, I, I don't know what, what's about it. I mean, I'm not an engine person. It has the IO550, you know, in it. So um, nice engine, smooth engine. Uh, I, get to, I got to about 12 and a half gallons an hour. You know, moving along, to, moving along in, in true air speeds, and uh, I really have no complaints. I mean, getting to Florida, and seven, getting to Key West from Orange County, New York in seven hours is amazing to begin with. Um, so very enjoyable. Love the air conditioning. I, I, got, I got my air conditioner. I, I didn't know it's going to have one. Matter of fact, didn't know it had AC. I don't know why I didn't really read the the, the ad, but I didn't really know it had AC. Until I went to Michigan to pick it up, I'm like, wow, this thing has air conditioning. <laughs> so I got to tell you, it's been hot in the Northeast. It's been hot this year, uh, and it's like, wow, the AC is pretty cool to have. And uh, I know my last videos of my M20, um, I've always said, oh, I hope I get next plane is going to have air conditioning. <laughs> and here we are with air conditioning, and you know, it's been a, a dream come true uh, for me. Uh, it just goes to show. And you know, a lot of people say, how do you do it? When it, it just goes to show that when you want to do something, it's, you're capable of doing it. Um, it might not be airplanes. It could be, you know, you want to get an expensive car at some point in your life. You want to get this. You want to, you know, buy a horse or whatever, you know, whatever, you, whatever, your, whatever interests you in your hobbies, uh, it's achievable. And there's no question. And I'm the person that... Um, went through all that and went through high school, not very good at it and all this stuff. And, you know, really put my mind together to get through a lot of different things in life. And then, you know, losing grandparents, you know, years ago. And then my mother, it just was difficult, diff difficult for me, of course. Uh, and, but it goes to show if you work hard enough, you do the right thing in life and you get your stuff together, anything's achievable. I never thought I would own a Mooney Ovation. I never just never thought about it. I mean, it's it just happened um, in a very weird time. Um, my, my, again, one of my best friends died suddenly, you know, and it it was it kind of happened right after that. It kind of happened, and he's always said, "Oh, maybe you should get a bigger plane one day." You know, you've you know you've got the experience in the C model, and I have to say, the C model is is a badass plane. Let's just put it that way. I loved it. It was great. True airspeed was fast, 145, always in the true airspeed and knots. It's a great plane. Uh, my other plane was awesome. Uh, but he's always like, you got the experience, a little heavier, not much heavier, but a little bit heavier. It's like, you need to get a bigger plane, you know, at some point. And it's so weird how it all happens. And, and it's amazing. Here I am talking about it. I never thought I would be here. So, but it does go to show you again that if you work hard, achieve you want to achieve, do the right thing. If you have to have two jobs, three jobs, well, go do it and make your dreams come true. We're only on this earth for a short amount of time, as 
as I know, as I've experienced it uh, two times in a matter of months apart of how quick life could be over and we're all in a different world at that point. And um, that's what I'm saying, go do what you gotta do, have fun, you know, obviously be responsible with your funds and money. You don't want to go into massive debt, obviously, and work hard, two, three jobs, four jobs, whatever. Get it over with, get it done, and you'll enjoy the rest of your life. I promise you, I've been through it. Um, so that's happening uh, with the ovation. I should pick it up in about a few weeks. Um, and Oshkosh, folks, was great. Um, there's nothing like going to Air Venture. Um, I never would have thought all these people get together, you know, you're talking probably 500,000-ish people and about 12, I would say anywhere from 10 to 12, 13,000 planes show up. Unfortunately, this year there was two accidents killing four people. Uh, may they rest in peace. It's, it's, it's very sad news towards the end of the show. Um, you know, it's, I don't want to say it, it happens. But unfortunately, it did happen this year, and it's a sad situation. Um, but to have everybody go there and to experience all these pilots, and not just the pilots, but all the non-pilots and their families, checking out airplanes, checking out vendors, checking this stuff out, doing what they got to do, having fun. The environment is such a great environment to be in. You can plug in your phone, you can plug in your, your battery packs, you can plug in your whatever on the charging stations, leave it there, and no one's taking your stuff. Matter of fact, I had my, um, I was in the South 40, I like the South 40, um, I had my battery pack, battery pack charging, and I forgot about it all day until like the middle of the night, I'm like, wait a minute, I don't have, my, where's, my, where's my battery pack? Like I left it, the charging station. Went out there, it was only like 50 yards away from my tent, and there it is. It's charged and no one took it. So it's really cool, safe atmosphere to say to leave with all those people showing up. Um, but what an amazing experience. And like, you don't even have to be a pilot. It's just amazing. The air show, the airplanes. Um, it's great family affair, whether you're a pilot or not. And it's amazing to see, as a pilot, all these interesting planes. And sometimes I think to myself, how does that thing fly the way it was built and how awkward it looks? And they do fly. You know, so, but check it out. So, um, so check out Air Venture next year if you're in the area. You definitely have to go. Um, it's an, like again, you're gonna have an amazing time. There's, there's not gonna be any type of problems um, besides the big crowds. And I did take the Ovation. Uh, flew awesome. I filed IFR. Um, I went to 35 Delta first. Um, got fuel there. Um, I like stopping there because it's about. 90 miles or so from Oshkosh, and I go over to Notams again, make sure everything is good, got some fuel in the, the tanks. Um, I didn't want to fill it all the way up because I don't want to be really heavy pushing it into the grass into my uh, spot. Um, so I didn't fill it all the way up, um, obviously. And then uh, take off, you're there, follow the, the, the Notams. You gotta follow the Notams, folks. If you're dry, flying in, you gotta follow the Notams and just, it's, it's not really that hard once you do it. Once you do it. Um, it's very easy to follow, um, and there I am. And fl flying back, um, I filed IFR. You can't really file IFR out or, or there unless you get a slot, and you never get a slot. By the time you try to do it, forget it. So I filed um, IFR from 35 Delta. Um, I got it in the air about 30 miles before I got the 35 Delta. And then basically both times, ATC um, had me go direct to Orange County going out. Uh, I'm sorry, going back home to Orange County Airport, Mike off Juliet, which is amazing. So direct, um, 90, I was at 9,000 feet doing 219 knots over the ground with a 20 knot tailwind. So the evasion was moving and I was burning uh, at 9,000 feet, uh, 50, 50 degrees lean over peak. I was burning about 11.67 gallons an hour in that Mooney and I just can't believe the efficiency and the, the engine smooth, temperatures are where you want them, amazing. It's, very, it's simply amazing. Uh, and then going to Oshkosh, I went direct, well I went to Lake first, it was an away point, and then went, they told me to go direct to 35 Delta. So both times went direct basically to where I needed to go and coming home uh, about three hours and I believe 40 minutes uh, from Oshkosh to 
Orange County Airport. And of course, went through some weather, clouds, we had to do the, the whole approach into Orange County to ILS-4. Um, we broke out about 1,700 feet, which is fine. It was VFR at that point. Um, but awesome experience. So again, folks, Oshkosh, yes, I was there. Yes, it's awesome, like it is every year. Um, I just can't get bored of it. I got hooked on it. One of my friends, um, Brian, took me in his Comanche. Uh, shoot, I want to say the first time was, I think this is my fifth year going. And uh, my last two times, once he took me, it was over for me. <laughs> it was over for me. I, I just, you just get hooked on it. And you meet a lot of great people out there. The last two times I went, I took the Green Mooney, 6887 November. Then this year I took the Ovation, 2183 Alpha. Got it right, finally I got that damn thing right. 2183 Alpha, Mooney Ovation, folks. Um, so once I get the panel done, I am going to do more videos. I am, I've gotten more, um, you know, time per se to do the videos because doing videos, folks, it does take quite a few, it, take, it does take a, take a lot of time doing them. It's not, you do a video, you have four cameras, you're done, you download it and you, and you put it up. You gotta, you gotta edit a lot of things out and do things and make it look nice and add some stuff to it and so on and so forth. Um, so it's, it does take time consuming and I wasn't really in the right place, uh, at the time to video, a lot of things going on, but I wanted to keep my certifications up, my IFR, doing all my approaches, keep myself current. You always gotta keep yourself current, uh, no matter what hardship you're going through. Of course, if, you're, if your health is a big problem, obviously you gotta follow what the FAA tells you to do at that point because of medical issues, what whatnot. But um, I had to make sure I'm current, I wanna stay current. But I wasn't interested in doing uh, videos um, because of the situation that I was in. Uh, you know, terrible, terrible situation to be, to be in. I still can't, I still can't believe my mother is gone and my, one of my good friends, uh, one of my best friends really is gone just like that and for no reason. And it's, it's quite, uh, still bothers me to, to trying to figure it out. Um, but a lot of support and we're moving forward and, uh, we're going to, do more involvement with aviation. If it wasn't for aviation, I don't know where I would be today. Um, when it comes to the hardship of family, my mother and so on and so forth, a couple other things in the past because aviation got me out of that, that, that depression, if you will, um, out of that being down into the air with friends and it was awesome and we're back. And so tomorrow I'm going to Sky Manor. We're gonna visit um, adventures aviation and we're going to take some videos we're going to take some pictures uh, check out my facebook page folks uh, pilot fund 101 um, i'm also on instagram and uh, TikTok and twitter twitter i got into a little bit um, some people ask so it's, but um, facebook is my really my biggest platform right now and just to get information out there and, and show you guys what's going on um, in my life so Thanks again. I, again, I really do appreciate um, everybody reaching out to me, uh, whether it's email, private messenger. Um, thank you. And uh, we're going to move on from here and sit, sit back, relax, enjoy the videos coming soon of my, of my channel. And thank you guys for continuing to supporting the channel. I really do appreciate that. Um, and also shirts. Um, I did sell out of my Rocker Wings shirt twice. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting to sell 200 shirts in a matter of a week. Um, actually about almost two weeks because I had to order it and they're back ordered and they're, they met, I wanted to have them done before Oshkosh. They messed, it, it was, it is what it is. It's fine. Um, but Rock Your Wings shirt will be back available uh, tomorrow. Actually, I'm getting a shipment, a box in of, I think I bought it on a hundred. So pilotfund101.com, the month of August, which is this month, is free shipping on anything on the store. Um, and any proceeds, and I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, after shipping, after you pay PayPal, and after all this nonsense, I make a few bucks a shirt. It's not even that big of a deal. But what I do at the end of the year is I take that couple of dollars that I make per item, and I, I do the um, air, sh not air show, I wish I could afford to do an air show. That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> but I do the fly-in at Orange County once a year. Um, and so I use that for the public, the community to get us together. And of course with some sponsors, um, you know, Sporties, Spruce, um, 
aviation oil outlets, um, flying eyes, folks, flying eyes, sunglasses, you can check them out online as well. It's on my website, um, a direct link to their website, and you get 10% off anything you order. But a lot of people in motor aviation also sponsored for a free oil change, and so many people get together and help me out, and I really, really do appreciate it. Um, makes, it does make a difference in trying to make aviation uh, more attractive and get the younger folks back involved in it because it can be expens expensive, uh, sure, uh, for sure. Uh, but that's where the extra little couple of dollars go to, and it's a couple of dollars I make on YouTube and Facebook. Um, I put that towards that event, and it gets expensive. You have to have permit, you got to have this, you got to have that in case somebody gets hurt. It's just the county airport liability, the whole nonsense you have to go through when you when you're trying to do something at a county airport because uh, the county of Orange does own it and there's you know whatever something could happen and then it is what it is. So I got to unfortunately pay for all that extra stuff. All right, folks. Until next time, fly safe, be safe. I'm back. We'll get things rolling again. Again, I appreciate the support. I mean, God bless everybody out there. And uh, follow me, if you like, on Pilot Funnel 101. Uh, and also, if any emails, uh, any questions you have, please email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. Um, and I'm always available to answer anything on, on um, email via a Messenger. Again, I'm not an instructor. I could advise you what I've been through, what I've done. Um, I can definitely give you information that you need. Dynon, um, great people. Any information you have about Dynon, let me know. I have the Garmin coming soon, so I'll have information on that. Thank you, Garmin, for all that they do. And we're working towards getting more information out there for everybody. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of not exciting, really, <laughs> but just informational. And we'll see you guys in the next one. And next video is going to come out. It's going to be about the Mooney Ovation and the updates with the panel. And yes, here we go again. More spaghetti. I'm also have spaghetti dinner once, a, once every six years because every time I get a plane, it turns to a spaghetti panel and I get a new panel. So here we go again, unfortunately. But it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to go check it out tomorrow, even though there's nothing in the panel. But I'm still excited. See you guys.